I was often jumping from practitioner to practitioner usually when I would get to a level of pain that I would be struggling and then I would go see someone and get some help and then usually not be able to find any help so then would stop go about my life and then start that whole circle all over again had a lot of pain in my spine I had a scoliosis in my back that was causing me issues and restricting my movement a lot of pain when walking and when sitting for long periods of time and also a lot of pain sort of around my my diaphragm and my ribs that was causing me issues when I was breathing talking trying to stand up um, so in, in general feeling pretty stuck in my movement in my pain and really stuck with wondering what I was ever going to do about it. Um, some of the doubts I had before working with Gus, there was quite a few things. Um, I think when you've experienced a lot of pain for a long period of time and you've worked with lots of different practitioners in lots of different modalities and none of them have been able to help you, you start to wonder if that's just how things are going to be for you and I had done a lot of yoga, I'd worked, done a lot of deep tissue massage work, worked with um, various therapists and we always got to this point where they sort of didn't know what to say to me next. It was sort of, oh this is all we can really do and it was pretty disheartening and I really didn't want to put myself through that again because when you're living in this way, um, if you go for something and then you have the same outcome again, it can be really disappointing again. And so I had doubts about working with Gus so that I didn't have to experience that same cycle again in sort of my healing modalities. And I had doubts as well in terms of what it was all about you know how is this going to be any different to everything else I've done before what is going to make this give me changes and I guess the doubts a lot of doubts were coming because of my mindset at the time and when you've been experiencing pain for a long period of time you don't really have a lot of energy to make decisions and go for things in your life and to trust your decisions because you've lost a little bit of that, you've lost a little bit of your, your drive, you've essentially been squashed. So I was living with a lot of doubts about lots of things, not just for this in my life. I have much more freedom in my body to move and that's a massive one for me because I'm actually able to move my spine in more directions, move my body in more directions and I'm able to do that uh, pain free. I'm not so locked and rigid and tension filled in my structure. Um, I'm able to lift more weights and carry more stress on my body and I have much less pain in my body, particularly around my ribs. So I'm able to breathe a lot better I'm able to move a lot better and I guess for me one of the biggest changes I've experienced is that I committed to this process that I didn't know what was going to happen with and I committed to working with Gus and to his um, coaching essentially and week by, by week I committed to myself and my body and my healing and coming out the other side of it I guess what's really changed for me is some more faith in myself um, and trust within my body and also an understanding as well that I can experience life without pain and that I, I can change what is happening in me and I don't need to be stuck I don't need to be stuck, I don't need to be disheartened anymore because there, there is a way to, to change and to move and to evolve in your body and that has opened up for me many other aspects in my life 
because that starts to, to ripple across having faith and trust in yourself and your body. Is a greater understanding of my own health and how to take care of myself. Not in just how I eat, but how I move and how I manage my emotions and how I understand um, that all all of these aspects all intertwine together to be part of my body so more knowledge on that which has obviously then started to inform how I choose to live the rest of my life and how to take care of myself and mobility. It's also me helped me to find a place in, inside of me that is able to pers persevere and commit to myself for myself for no other reason than it's for me and that's been such a beautiful thing to experience inside of me because now I can bring that to any other aspect of my life knowing that I can do something even if it's challenging at times even if I don't think I can or I don't know what's going to happen that I don't need to know I can still commit to myself and I can still achieve results for myself not only in my health and in my body but in other aspects of my life too and I guess for me it's also helped ripple in my life in terms of my intention of how I take care of myself so more intention in how I choose my food how I take care of my body how I interact with myself and others around me and how I choose to take steps forward to live the rest of my life.